Hello everybody, this is Limits, bringing you guys another high level Halo Wars 2v2 video. This time we are playing against X-Factor and Legit. And we are running Anders RB and they are running Cutter RB, so they do have a counter combo to us. However, we're playing on Beasley's and I think Beasley's is a pretty evenly, uh, pretty even map for both these combos. Local it really units. just depends on how the, the game Warning. goes. Local units. So anyways, Local um, units. I'm playing this game Local really units. conservative with my scout. It was really late when we played this game, and I was tired, Fine and I ended up going to bed right after this game. So, I'm not playing aggressive with my hog, and I think it's because I'm tired and lazy. Red. But, uh, you should always send your scout a little bit higher up and fight for at least the middle resources or try and steal their resources Leader Temple. and my RB just gets out and I'm going to collect more crates Local units. I'm really not in a hurry right now I'm just Local trying to units. set up like a really booming economy yes, because I plan on uh, I catching the cutters hogs after I get my hooks here Local units. Going now. What now? Local units. What now? Warehouse what now? upgraded. Some people can throw a grunt Warehouse in this hook to clear it, but I usually rage. The only time I really would throw a grunt into that is if you're playing against a brute, because then the brute can't shove his own uh, brute squad in there to clear it out or take it from you. So. In a matchup against a non-brute, it's not really a good idea to waste a grunt into the uh, garrison. So I'm just checking up on Elysium right there, seeing what he's doing, staring at the combo once again, and I'm going to decide that I'm going to go take out as many hogs as I can and possibly steal uh, Legit's hook. Warehouse complete. And all the while, I'm kind of staring at my mini map right now because uh, I don't want to see an Arbiter icon over by Elysium. That would have ruined my day. Warehouse complete. So I rage over to uh, Legit's hooks and I see that he actually has taken them, but I see that hog right there and I'm going to catch it. And then I see another hog coming out, so I'm going to go try and chase that one down and possibly find the rest of his hogs. But my Arbiter actually gets stuck on that hill for some reason, or in the map, so I'm just going to get out of rage mode and walk. Somehow, Legit actually cleared out his hooks quicker than Elysium, so the Arbiter is actually going to stop Elysium's hooks. What shall I do? Citadel upgrade and I'm pushing early Citadel because I want to get air out on the field. Beasley's is actually a really good map for air. Local units. Local units. Glory. And I'm thinking right now we're in a really good position Local since units. I'm quick on my summits. I see that uh, Local units. The Arbiter didn't buy a turret so I'm going to buy the turret right there to take out his hooks and I'm going to go ahead and uh, look over at Elysium's base there and I see he's getting grunted down completely and uh, I don't know I've never seen an Arbiter really do that I don't know why X-Factor did that but it's actually a really good strategy I think because he instantly puts Elysium on 2 pad here and he's going summit off of a keep so X-Factor's doing some really crazy stuff right now and it's risky Local but units. right now it's Local working units. very well. I'll make them fear. So Elysium is not looking too good. It looks like Elysium is going to be eliminated here if this continues. Point the way. I am chosen. And we're also Local losing units. the hook battle because they have three sets of hooks right now and we only have one. Point the way. But X-Factor doesn't have a really good economy, and I'm on his base with uh, 
a double pump of banshees here, and I'm gonna be porting in suicide grunts. Fiendish return, research. Point the way. Summit complete. What is local units? I look over at Elysium, and Elysium's base is just. It's not looking too good. What now? And then I look at uh, X Factor's Arbiter right there. And I'm not sure if this turret's gonna kill it at the time when I'm playing the game. Um, I don't know what exactly was going on with the Arbiter, but he didn't have the money, I guess, to rage down my turret, so he was just slashing at it. But Elysium really needs my help, and I want to make sure I get at least this temple before I go over and help uh, Elysium Local out. Units. Local units. And I see that he queues up a shield right there, and I just kill the temple, so I'm going to have my Banshees kill that uh, shield. And I'm going to drop down to one summit, have my Banshees still hit X Factor's base, and instead of recalling, because it would do me no good, it's equally distance. Think of the map as like a square here. Um, I'm just gonna rage run, rage run right over. Defiant rage research. And as I'm rage running, I'm gonna get defiant here, but I don't get out of my rage mode to get defiant because I'm more concerned about saving Elysium's base. For those of you guys that don't know, uh, if you tech your Arbiter while you're raging, the tech actually does not register until uh, you get out of rage mode and get back in it. But anyways, I get stuck on that supply pad right there, and that was really annoying. I'm going to recall and get these Banshees off me really quick. Local units. And I see that X Factor is gonna get me off of his base. All units. And right now it's really just not looking good because they have three hooks and Elysium is completely crushed and out of the game at this point. And X Factor or legit actually has not been touched. The UNSC. The UNSC has had two complete side hooks to himself in a, in a full main base that has not been harassed at all. Boost research. Point the way. No more weight. Local units. All units. And so, uh, I'm thinking at this point the game's over. And I think that we just got steamrolled. But, uh, I'm gonna try and uh, get creative here, and I'm gonna clear out this base for Elysium. And somehow, I'm gonna try and get really unorthodox here and win this game. Local units. So I'm just single pumping banshees. I have a tech one RV. Clearing out these uh, middle things, or, or the uh, middle base between us, when I see that uh, Elysium's flaring, that he's already pushing with tanks and wolves. And so uh, I tell Elysium, there's no way I can fight that. I have I have two banshees out right now, and an arbiter. And he's got two wolves and a canister shell tank. But uh, I tell Elysium that there's no way I'm going to be able to rage this down with uh, my little health. And then as I get over here, I'm thinking, wait, that's only one tank, I got this. And then I see the Arbiter come in, and I was like, oh god, I'm screwed. So I'm going to lose my Arbiter here, but at least try and take out that wolf. Can't do it. Elysium has no units at all. All units. And I have four banshees. Enemy So with four banshees, one gremlin, and Elysium's turrets, we're gonna be able to fight off this tank and this arbiter here. All units. And Elysium right now, he's in the Stone Age, so. All units. 
And there's no way we should have been able to fend this off, but uh, the Arbiter, who is X-Factor, is in the RV glitch right now, where you can't rage air, and I don't know why he's in that, I don't think, I don't know if X-Factor doesn't realize you can't do that, but I actually hit select right there to see who is the Arbiter, just to double check who it is, and I'm just like, oh my god, this guy is stupid. All units. This is the exact All same thing as me and Elysium. Me and Elysium were both like, oh my god, this guy's retarded when uh, we were playing. All units. And we saw, yeah, it was the X Factor. I don't know if he doesn't realize that, but can't rage there in that situation. So I'm going to go into a double pump. And I'm boosting over to kill these tanks. And then we see that uh, X Factor is actually getting air out of his own. I still think at this point the game's over. Me and Elysium are just dragging this thing out to drag it out, beating the dead horse. But the Arbiter does not get out of the rage glitch. The Arbiter's still in the little rage glitch, so he can't rage my air units. So I don't even have to worry about trying to cliff him or anything like that. I can freely just hit whatever I want and not have to worry about the Arbiter. So I get my Arbiter back out here, and I'm walking over to play defense with it. And as you can see there, X-Factor actually got a star on his Arbiter, so that's not too good. And I'm going to run in here raging. And the best part about this right here is I'm going to force a D-bomb. And so, their anti-air, which would be the Arbiter, which is right there, he drops a D-bomb so his tanks can't even be saved by the Arbiter. That I'm just going to be able to kill all these tanks with my Banshees. So I'm trying to boost around and grab them. I'm also not in the D-bomb, so I'm trying to boost and, and kill them while I boost shoot. It's something you can do if you uh, properly boost over a tank. They'll shoot in mid-boost. All units. And uh, that way I won't get raged by the Arbiter. But it's not really working right now. And I'm just going to have to go over there and slowly kill the tanks if I want to kill them. But I'm going to decide to help Elysium get these hooks really quick. And then the tanks just want to come back so I'll just shoo them away with the Banshees. But my Banshees have not been getting killed by the Arbiter or any of X-Factor's Banshees. They haven't been targeting my Banshees down at all. So I'm actually getting close to full pop right now. And so I'm going to go take out some hooks. I'm going to go offensive right now. And I think uh, I just told Elysium to grab that secondary base to get back in the game. Because he's so far behind. He doesn't even have... A vehicle depot up, I don't think right now. I think he's just getting his vehicle depot All up. He's been units. pumping just straight gremlins. So we see that they're playing heavy defense right there. So we're not even going to think about pushing. I'm going to send my RB to grab those crates and boost over to grab... Uh, X factors, or not X factor, All legit units. set of hooks over Ready here. Let me Enemy go. engagement. Give me a target. Local units. Engaging. Honor. Ready. And I was worried when I picked up that set of crates over there because I was thinking that, you know, the tanks are just going to come and mop up my arbiter while I'm not paying attention. While I'm trying to kill, uh, Enemy legit's hooks. And then, sure, sure enough, right there. Right as it gets over to my mini map, he takes a canny, so I don't even have time to recall. So I lose my arbiter, and they're pushing on Elysium. And Elysium's not going to be able to handle that because, as you can see, uh, or yeah, X Factor has quite a few banshees himself. But before I leave this hook, I'm going to buy at least one of those pads. That way, we still have something lit up over there, so Elysium can buy 
the other pads because I don't my economy is fine right now. I don't need to get any more hooks. But they got six cannies, quite a few banshees, and the arbiter. And all we have, because they pretty much mopped up Elysium's army right there when I wasn't over here. Uh, all we have really is my banshees to fight and Elysium's turrets. But I saved up for tech 2 with that money that I got from the uh, base that I cleared. And I'm able to get vampires here starting to be built. So I can, I have the air war completely won right now. We just have to worry about the tanks and the Arbiter. Very well. I am here. And my Arby's back out, so I'm just gonna walk him over here. Targeting down the uh, air. And I'm actually going to try and get this Arbiter out of here. But he starts raging and I don't want to give him any more health. So I'm going to actually try and clip him here in a minute. There we go. I'm going to try and get him over this uh, little crevice in the ground right here. And... Then I noticed that legit has actually taken another base, so I'm gonna boost all my banshees over to uh, what shall I do? his new base and walk my RB over there. Here. Gonna send actually everything over there because no if he gets another base, that's not good. Elysium's secondary base though is actually up way. now, and Elysium's to the point where he's double pumping gremlins and no single more. pumping tanks, I believe. No more waiting. And I just got tech two about. All right, got Tech 2 queued up right now. I'm just waiting for it. And then the uh, Arbiter comes, so I'm going to try and rage down this Arbiter so he doesn't rage down all my air. But then I'm just going to focus on the tank instead. But I run out of money, and an Elysium here is going to give me clicks. And he's going to recall right before I can actually kill him, so... And I'm going to let my air finish off the base, and I'm just going to go after these tanks. And Elysium's going to click me. Elysium's the greatest clicker ever, by the way, guys. If you guys ever play with Elysium, he has the most well-timed clicks. I'm going to need another click right now. And now. Where is it? There it is. But, Elysium's always pretty good on his clicks. And he always has money to give me a click, so that's pretty nice. We're going. Moving there. What now? So I'm going to recall. I don't feel like losing my Arbiter again. As you wish. All units. Boosters activated. Elysium clicks me, and I I think that was an accidental click. All units. And X Factor still has quite a few banshees. He's had banshees all game, but he was never really able to get Tech Two, and I'm not quite sure why. I've I've been raging, pumping banshees and pumping vampires at will all game, and I was still able to manage. Tech 2 pretty fairly easily. I am chosen. Repositioning. But I don't want to lose my vampires because right now that's all the uh, air I have. I, only ha I have five banshees, but five banshees aren't really going to take out anything. And there's a whole bunch of tanks and banshees that they have themselves. And an arbiter. So we're still playing defense. This has been a really defensive struggling game. I, I thought we lost the game for the past five or ten minutes. But I'm going to go back in here with my RB. I'm going to rage this tank.
And I'm starting to get raged, so I'm gonna recall again. And for some reason, uh, Elysium Secondary is just now found. They just found out about Elysium Secondary. So I'm gonna send my vampires over to kill those banshees. And I'm gonna send my banshees over there too. So Elysium actually now has an army worth fighting. He has enough gremlins and tanks that he can actually fight the uh, tanks by himself. So Elysium's coming from the backside over by his hooks. And I'm just kind of uh, microwing my vampires so they don't die. And trying to get my banshees to focus on the tanks. What shall I do? I'm gonna come in here raging. And we are successfully going to save Elysium's base. And Elysium actually did not lose any of his army. He still has quite a large population of gremlins and tanks. Well, I guess it's not that large of a number, but he's steadily pumping, kills the one-star Arbiter, and now it's time for us to push. And so, me and Elysium managed to uh, grab victory in the jaws of defeat. But yeah, this was a uh, this was actually w one of the more fun games of the night. But I told Elysium, you know, like I played this game way too conservative and uh, laid back at the beginning. That we were actually putting a tough a tough spot all game, and I was really tired. So I told Elysium I was just gonna go to bed after this game. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit more action packed. Wasn't a uh, steamroll, it was more of a defensive game. But uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Everybody have a uh, great day or night. And once again, I'll see you guys later.